Hello, today is a like a user guide to Affinity Designer, just a very beginner's tutorial um, about the interface and just a overview of Affinity Designer. We're going to be talking about that right after this. Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Um, my name is Daniel Neds and um, today we're going to be talking about Affinity Designer and the overview of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Should open with this thing, which will tell um, just some information about the program. And then it should pop up with this thing. This is called the Welcome. And, uh, and it has little samples that you can download um, that you can work on. It also has um, tutorials, and then it has some social media links here, and then it has uh, some new stuff that's coming out with uh, Affinity Serif um, right here. And you can also click New Document from here or Close. I'm going to go ahead and click Close because first thing first, I'm going to show you how to open a document. So I'm going to click come up here to File come down here to open and then come over here and click on a file that I want to open and open it and this is just the thumbnail for the video that I'm making right now and I'm just gonna that was just used to show you how to open it. and also the shortcut key is command O for opening so you can just hit command O it will pop up with your little file and you, you can uh, navigate from there and select whichever file you want to open and you can open JPEG, PNG, GIF all sorts of different files and uh, P um, Photoshop files just lots of different variety and it's awesome that you can actually mix uh, vector with pixel so next we're going to be going over the toolbar and the toolbar is right up here to the top and um, it's a very handy uh, shortcut place where you can do some shortcuts and uh, instead of having to come up here and go to edit and change stuff here and then layer and viewing and all sorts of stuff like that so but to the left the very left there is three little icons that you might not know what they are this is the draw persona, this is the pixel persona, and this is the export persona and they're um, they're all working together in this program to accomplish different tasks um, for what you need to do so um, I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later just wanted to show you what they were and then there's all these different other little tabs up here I'm not going to explain every one I have different tutorials about different ones I'm just going to say that they're useful um, little things and also if you want to change it customize it you just um, hit right click and then customize and then come down and you can see all these different ones so that is really cool that you can customize this and so then you're gonna um, click done and uh, when you're done and then so next I'm going to be going over the tools panel the tools panel is all the way over to your left the ver the the far left uh, there's all these different icons of tools and um, I've gone over many of these tools in different tutorials also so you can go check those out by clicking on the link below you can also customize this by coming over here to view and then you can come down here to customize tools and it will pop up with all the different shape tools that would be in this little drop down from this uh, this tool um, where you can switch it but they have all sorts of different tools and then you can have like p add little lines for different sections if you want to um, so that's neat and uh, you can switch them all around if you want, if you want to put the square up here or whatever, um, just for more easy access. I actually never really mess with this at all, but you um, you can also change the columns and everything. 
make it like really short and then close it and make it like that almost more like uh, Photoshop how it has this little thing on the edge but um, so you can totally customize this I'm gonna switch it back to how it normally was real quick and I'll click close there we go and now I'm gonna be going over the studio panels the studio panels are all the way to the right they're right over here and to toggle these studio panels off and on you have to come over here to view come down here to studio and then it shows all lists all the studio panels right here in front of you and you can click if I wanted to add effects I would just click here and it would pop up with this and then I could bring uh, gra grab it over here and um, drag it and just set it set it right in here or if I want to stick it um, up here I could do that as well but uh, since I never really I use the effects panel I usually use this then I am um, just gonna exit out of that and also if you want to get rid of them you can just pull this out like if you want to get rid of the color panel which you probably don't want to because you're always using color but um, you could just hit the X right here to get rid of it also so and then I'm gonna stick it right back up here okay so um, so those are the panels, there's some down here, and what's cool is you can uh, bring them all around and put them wherever you want. Um, you can also bring them over here if you um, have like a huge amount of layers and you don't want to be like scrolling through this tiny little bar. You have layers going all the way down here and it will help you uh, be able to see which ones you, or get to your la layers quicker. So um, that's the studio panels. Next we're going to be talking about the status bar. That's just this little thing down at the bottom. Just like they have in Photoshop. Um, it, it just tells like little tips and different things about what's happening. Like if I click on different tools, it will tell me different things. Uh, just some different tips. So that's useful. I've actually never really used it before, but it's useful useful for beginners at least just to so they can get uh, better at what to do and then I'm going to talk about the context toolbar this is the context toolbar right under the toolbar itself and uh, so it's just whenever I click on different tools it will change according to whatever that tool is and the different functions that it uses so for example, if I click on a uh, rectangle and I make a rectangle, let's say down here, then it will draw one and then I can um, change some different settings on here like the color or the fill and change it up here or I can also change it over here and, um, and then I can change the outline thickness and then I can change the whether it's rounded edges or what um, there's different options on here and then I can also click convert to curves and that makes you be able to move curves around so it's cool how it, it goes to each tool that you have um, and there's shortcut keys for each of these and I also have a shortcut key tutorial about um, about different shortcut keys in Affinity Designer so you can go check that out probably be a card right up here next I'm going to be talking about the menu bar the menu bar is just this top place right up here um, mostly over here and this will also change whenever you get on different personas so the the tools will change also I did, forgot to tell you this but the tools will change when you get on different personas and so will the menu bar when you get on each of these three different personas <clears throat> and if you've ever used affinity photo you'll be you're probably used to these persona personas I think affinity photo has like 
five or four or something like that. So it's a little bit more than this, but um, um, but that is really helpful. But this is nice. Uh, just all the different options you have up here, and we already talked about view a little bit. Um, so that's cool. Um, like every everything has menu bars, and so that's pretty simple. Um, this is the document view right here, where you can view the document, zoom in, zoom out. Um, I'm right now. I'm just uh, using my trackpad to uh, zoom in and out. But if you don't have a trackpad that can do that, you just can uh, click on zoom here and zoom this way manually, um, like that. Or you can um, hit command minus or command plus and that will change in like little segments so that um, you can zoom in and out more easily than having to go and click on a zoom tool and then come up here and zoom in and out that way you can also navigate using your nav navigator panel and that's helpful also so when you, whenever you zoom up so close you can just like bring it around like if I wanted to work on the on these little lines back here I can just click here and drag it around and that's useful also and this will tell you the percent uh, which it's uh, zoomed up um, so that if you're printing something off you'll be able to see how big it's going to be um, next I'm going to talk about how you can totally turn off all these tools and the toolbar and the studio panels and everything you just have to hit the tab button on a Mac to turn that off I'm not quite sure what it is for Windows I'm sorry about that for all you Windows people but I'm pretty sure I'm no, no. so to if you just want to view your document like just by itself without any of this stuff so you can focus then you just have to hit tab and it goes goodbye and then you can just uh, it's totally free and it's like preview mode basically and you just hit tab again and it'll come back so that is um, all the stuff that you see right here I just went over all the stuff that you see now I'm gonna actually go over how to create a new document so you come up here to file come down here to new or you can hit command new and it will pop up with this new document dialog box <clears throat> and it will uh, main places you need to focus on are the dimensions right here and uh, sometimes the color if you're printing this off you're gonna have to change this to CMYK uh, just to make it better for printing and then also if you wanted to make it transparent you just have to check this um, but this doesn't really matter too bad too much because you can always come back and switch this later then uh, down dimensions you can change the dimension and by checking portrait it will make it portrait and if you uncheck portrait it will uh, make it landscape so automatically landscape and then um, those are the main things you need to focus out, out for uh, when you're first beginning so then you just hit OK when you're done deciding what you need and then it pops up with a new document and it's called untitled and so then you can um, if I were to go to my assets panel and drag something over here like the affinity designer logo and then if I wanted to save that I just could hit command S or I could come up here to file and hit save and that will save my document I just have to rename it and then after you rename it you just have to click save or navigate to where you want to save it to click save and then it will automatically change your name right here and then you can exit out of this right here and then if you want to reopen that you just have to go to your desktop or wherever you um, 
stuck it in your files. You have to click on it and it will automatically open with Affinity Designer. So we come back, we can see that it's already opened. You can also export your um, designs by coming up here to File, coming down here to Export. Very simple. And uh, you can click on any of these choices or you can click on More and it will pop up with even more choices. Um, so I'm just going to save this as a JPEG. Um, you can also save it as a PSD and that's really neat because then you can open it in Photoshop and that's quite cool. Um, so you save it as a JPEG and then I'm going to hit export and you can also configure the settings however you like and I'm just going to export here save and that's how you export and so it's really actually really simple so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned um, something new about Affinity Designer and um, make sure to share it if you have some friends that do this also and I would like to see some comments below about how long you've had Affinity Designer for and what you're planning on using it for. That'd be awesome to have some feedback. I love getting your comments, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.